Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Desdemona Desdemona is universally remembered as William Shakespeare's ill-fated wife in his great tragedy, The Tragedy of Othello, Amor in Venice, c. 1602. The name comes from the Greek, Desdemon, Delta Upsilon Sigma Delta Alpha Iotum U Omega Nu, which means, appropriately, ill-starred. Parents looking for a unique name or appreciators of literary references are not easily discouraged by the name's unfortunate meaning, mainly because Desdemona was a tragic victim, a noble heroine, and a likable character. Shakespeare's early 17th-century play was inspired by an Italian narrative written 40 years prior to the publication of Othello. It's the story of a Venetian beauty, Desdemona, who falls in love with and marries a Moorish, Northern African, general in the Venetian army, Othello, several years her senior, much to the chagrin of her father. The tragedy features one of the greatest villains of literature, Iago, who plants fraudulent evidence leading Othello to believe Desdemona has been unfaithful to him. In a jealous rage, Othello suffocates his innocent wife in the last act of the play. For more information on Desdemona in Othello, see literary references below. Shakespeare wasn't the first person to use the name Desdemona, the earlier Italian author, Cynthio, introduced the name in the original tale, a Moorish captain which Shakespeare also borrowed. Obviously Desdemona's name is no accident given her ultimate fate in literary history. Personality of the girl named Desdemona The number 8 personality has everything to do with power, wealth and abundance. Somehow, this personality has been blessed on the material plane, but their authoritative and problem-solving traits provide evidence that their good fortunes are not just the luck of the lottery. They are well-earned. This is the personality of CEOs and high-ranking military personnel. Eights are intensely active, hard-driving individuals. Success is only meaningful to them after a job well done. They are remarkable in their ability to see the larger picture right down to the smallest details and organize a strategy around success. They then have the ability to direct a group around them toward any goal and realize individual potential to get the most out of their team. Popularity of the girl named Desdemona Desdemona has never once landed a position on the top 1000 list of girl names in America. Never. At least not in the past 130 plus years that the government has been tracking naming trends in the United States. This means Desdemona is rarely, if ever, used. It's certainly not a name on everyone's radar, but it has a lot going for it. For syllables? Check. Pretty? Check. Highbrow literary appeal? Check. Lovely meaning? Um, okay. No. But that's part of Desdemona's attraction and interest in our opinion. This is not a name for the overly sentimental parent looking for a sweet and gushy etymology. Rather, it's a name choice for parents who a. love Shakespearean characters, and b. value the complicated character of Desdemona specifically. Yes, Othello himself refers to his wife as an ill-starred wench, but it is she who rises above the bad behavior exhibited by everyone else in the play. She is the true heroine, even if a bit naive. Parents in search of an unusual name, but one with substance, ought to consider Desdemona. It can always be shortened to Desi, DD, or Mona. Quick facts on Desdemona. Gender, girl. Origin, English. Number of syllables, four. Ranking popularity, not applicable. Pronunciation, Desdemona. Simple meaning, ill-fated. Characteristics of Desdemona. Problem solver, authoritative, tough, powerful, tenacious, wealthy, achiever. Cultural references to the baby name, Desdemona. Literary characters of the baby name Desdemona. Desdemona is the wife of the title character in William Shakespeare's tragedy, Othello, written between 1601 and 1604. Desdemona is a beautiful young Venetian woman who defies her father and marries the man of her choice, the older, dark Moor, Othello. She is very much in love with him, and she is a loyal and faithful wife. 
When he is dispatched to Cyprus, Desdemona cannot stand to be separated from him, and happily accompanies Othello, to his post, anticipating a great adventure. She is goodness and innocence personified, so she is a perfect foil for the evil and racist Iago, who uses her to wreak vengeance on Othello for his, imagined, slights to him. Iago essentially frames Desdemona, giving the impression that she has been unfaithful to her husband, and Othello falls for his game, with disastrous results. Placing his trust in the one person he should not, Othello believes Iago, and murders the one person who is blamelessly true to him, Desdemona. Even with her dying words, Desdemona deflects blame away from her beloved husband, in an effort to save him from incrimination. As surely as it is a great tragedy, Othello is also a magnificent treatise against the kind of blind devotion that leads to such perilous results. Popular Songs on Desdemona Desdemona's Building a Rocket Ship, Jimmy Buffett, Desdemona, a song by John Jennings.